Absolutely. We are rewinding the clock, which is why you're seeing baseball spelled as two words, baseball. Not one word the way we spell it nowadays, because back in the 1800s, they spelled it as two words. They also used a different kind of ball. This is the baseball that you're used to using nowadays. You're seeing it used in games. But this is the ball they used to use back in the 1800s. You can see it's larger. And um, RJ or uh, Schnooky? Schnudick. Schnudick. <laughs> okay, Schnudick is your nickname. You're the captain of the early risers. Uh, tell me a little bit about this uh, old school ball, the lemon peel shape you said. Correct. It's a handmade ball that is, um, it's, it's made out of one piece of leather. It's hand wound, and even today it's still made hand wound. So it's, uh, it's actually made of the same material, but because it's uh, hand done instead of machine done, it's a little bit bigger. Okay, a little bit bigger, and it's hard at first, but it gets softer as the game goes on. Uh, when we when we pull it out of the package, that is just as hard as a modern ball, but it softens quicker as it's getting hit. Okay, and this, these bats are a lot thinner, and you guys are called the early risers, which we appreciate here on the morning show, early risers, but that's based off a real team that existed back in the day. Correct. There was a team here in Detroit uh, that uh, existed in 1859, and because of the uh, makeup of the team, they had to practice at 5 or 5.30 in the morning at Campus Marshes to, to get everybody there. And here you guys all are, all are, are all practicing as I assemble over my words here this morning. And I'm going to give it a shot. I know your pitcher's been warming up his arm. And uh, I am not necessarily good at modern baseball, let alone uh, this baseball. But maybe the, the bigger baseballs I'll have an easier time hitting. Let's see how it goes. All right. all right, gentlemen, big stick. Give her a step back here. All right, any tips, coach? Uh, just keep your eye on that ball. All righty. That was low. <laughs> batter, batter. Show your preference low. to him. Show your preference. You'll have to put it there. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what my preference is. Okay. Oh! Is that, is that, the, is that the pitcher's fault or is that mine? I think that's the pitcher's fault. Bring that down for us, sir. <laughs> well, that was, what was that? He's a little more competitive sometimes. <laughs> Right up the middle here. Ball to the bat, please. Oh, look at that. Fly, fly ball. <laughs> okay. All right, so I, I probably wouldn't have done so well back at uh, the vintage team with the early risers, but uh, they've got an entire team out here, more teams to come. You guys are playing 11 a.m. to 3 p.m., and I promise these guys can play. You'll see more of them playing coming over the next half an hour, and it's going to be a lot more riveting than me swinging and missing over and over. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> thanks. You're a good coach. Five bucks, everybody. 11 a.m. till 3 p.m. right here at the Detroit's historic Fort Wayne. Back to you guys. Oh, we, we're applauding yeah, you yeah, just yeah, for yeah. giving it a shot, Jennifer Ann. And what a doubt, Blaine the pitcher. I did so yeah. well in the commercial break. Oh. Yeah, see? Well, That's you can try. You happens. can try again later. <laughs> right.